Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we are discussing Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's romantic date night or date nights in Lake Como. That is right, folks. We now finally know where Taylor and Travis went after Taylor's shows in Paris. They jetted off to Italy for a beautiful romantic vacation. We were unsure um, where Taylor and Travis went after Paris. We know that Travis was on his podcast, didn't reveal anything specific to his brother, Jason, though I'm obviously sure Jason knew where he was. But on the podcast, Travis just said Europe. He wasn't giving any hints as to where he was. They joked that he was maybe still in France. Maybe he was in Italy. Maybe he was in Spain. Well, now we know for certain they were in Italy. So there have been some photos that have been released of the pair on their date night in Italy. Um, I unfortunately don't have the rights to share these photos in this video, but I will include the link to the article with all the photos in the description of this video. So if you want to see all the all the photos, if you haven't seen them yet, just go to the link in our description and you can see all the photos of them on their date night. But as I said, they were in Lake Como, beautiful Lake Como. It's probably, honestly, in terms of Hollywood, best known for being the place where George Clooney lived or had a home for a very long time. I actually think he recently sold that home. Um, but it's obviously one of the most beautiful, picturesque places in the world, specifically Italy. And the pair were spotted going on a romantic stroll along the water. They had their arms wrapped around each other. There was a photo of Travis kissing Taylor's head. Like, just looked like a beautiful European evening out and about. Um, and then they also were photographed having a scenic candlelit dinner in the gardens of the Grand Hotel Tremez Tremezzo. Hope I'm saying that right. Which is a five-star hotel um, that offers views of Lake Como. And you will never guess, well, I guess you could guess how much it costs to stay in one of their um, suites per night. 20,000 euros a day a day for a suite in their beautiful, lavish villa. So obviously Taylor Swift, she's a billionaire. She can afford pretty much anything at this point, but that is quite the pretty penny to spend uh, for vacation. I can't even imagine dropping that kind of money for one night of vacation, but you know what? She just performed four nights in a row in Paris in front of thousands and thousands of people. So she deserves it. But yeah, as I said, the pair of them were sitting there having dinner, holding hands, drinking some wine. On one hand, I hate that we have these photos. I think I've said this before. Like I don't, I think it's so invasive that we have these pictures of them in a, on a private dinner or a private walk. Like that just feels wrong. I do have to say that I have to imagine, because we don't know exactly, it's, it's sort of un unclear when all these photos happened. I've seen some reports say Monday. I've seen other reports say Wednesday. But what I think is good is that it seems like these publications are waiting until Taylor and Travis have left before they're running with the photos. Because we know that Travis has to get back for Kelsey Jam this weekend in Kansas City. And we also know that Taylor has her first shows in Sweden tomorrow. So I kind of have to imagine that at this point in time, they're, they both left Italy. So I, I'm at least glad that those photos didn't run while they were still there because I'm sure that would have caused mass hysteria. But I also don't love that we see them because they're private people and they should be able to enjoy a private vacation without people knowing where they are. But this is what one source told page six about Taylor and Travis's date night. No one noticed Taylor's presence on Lake Como. They walked in the night and had romantic candlelit dinners. They seem in love and happy. This also very much reminds me of when Taylor and Travis were in the Bahamas whenever that was a few months ago, um, where I feel like we didn't get, there was like a ton of pictures, photos that were taken of the pair of them on that vacation at different periods of time, but we didn't get any of them, I felt like, until they had already left, um, which I have to imagine that like Taylor and her team probably do some sort of deal with these paparazzi, like, hey, we know you found her and you know where she is, and we know we can't stop you from taking those pictures, but like, can you just wait a couple days to run it? Which 
again, the business of paparazzi and celebrity photos is one that I just can't quite wrap my head around, but it is a, it is the world that we live in right now. Um, but it's gotten me thinking about where else I feel like Taylor and Travis will go and visit during their time in Europe this summer. Because obviously, I mean, I don't know that Taylor will, she might come back to like New York or something because she'll have like a four day period, four or five day period in between all of her shows. So in theory, she could go back to New York for a couple of days, see her friends, do whatever, and then head back to to Europe. But I kind of feel like the more logical thing that she'll do is just spend her summer in Europe. <laughs> and if she wanted to go, we, we know she has a home in London. And even though she said so long London, <laughs> I feel like that would be a place where she could spend a lot of her off time in between dates as well. Um, but it's got to be thinking where else I feel like they'll visit or where else they'll travel in between these shows. And I feel like I definitely think they'll spend some time in the South of France. I think that's that's kind of a given. The South of France is so beautiful. It's romantic. I could see that happening. We also know because of Travis's um, investment into a Formula One team, I think there's a chance that Travis will be spending some time going to various Formula One races in Europe over the summer. And so I could see them kind of like making vacations out of those trips as well. Um, but anyway, I just think it sounds so nice. I would love, I think all of us would love to have these lavish, beautiful vacations overseas in these gorgeous places. Like it just sounds like a true, genuine dream. So anyway, happy that Taylor and Travis got to enjoy some much deserved time off, got to relax, enjoy, um, and spend some time together before, yeah, Taylor's back on tour this weekend. Sweden shows, we'll definitely be recapping those next week. All the surprise songs, if there's any special guests. We know, uh, as I mentioned, Travis is going to be in uh, Kansas City this weekend for Kelsey Jam. But I'm pretty sure that Travis will be back in Europe very, very soon. Um, we know that Ryan Reynolds is going to the Madrid shows. And we know that Travis is friends with Ryan. And I could see that being a whole double date vacation after the show type of situation with Taylor and Travis and Ryan and Blake Lively. So anyway, would love to know what you guys think of Taylor and Travis's vacation, where you think they'll go next, what else do you think they'll get up to over this summer in Europe. Um, as always, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.